Hi everyone, in this video I will talk a bit about the concrete speaker board and also do a sound test at the end, so stay tuned. I'll tell you why I built these and some of the decisions I made in the design and build process. I will also answer some questions from the comment section. Now I built these because I was after the novelty of having speakers made of concrete. I never used uh, concrete as a speaker enclosure before. Uh, but I love the feel and the texture of concrete. It's such a versatile material and because of its inherent properties It makes for a very good speaker enclosure. It's heavy and has a very high dampening effect other than the usual MDF or wood enclosure Which will have a lot more panel resonance taking place that will influence the sound of the speaker out that the speaker outputs uh, There were a few comments uh, pointing to the fact that I did not use a concrete mix but rather a cement mix. While that is essentially correct, since concrete is a mix of cement, sand and an aggregate such as stone, I only used cement and sand, which makes it more of a mortar mix. Uh, another comment mentioned that a sound, that a round baffle is one of the worst shapes to use for, for a speaker, as this causes dips and peaks in the response. This is true in theory, but you will not really know how and if it affects the response dramatically without taking proper measurements. The third comment I would like to talk about uh, was that I did not use any baffle step correction circuit or crossover. Uh, this Fountech uh, FE85 full range driver has a very flat overall response and it should not really be necessary to implement any crossover. But that will also only be uh, revealed when proper response measurements are done. I intend to build a concrete enclosure subwoofer to match these small speakers and I will implement a baffle step correction circuit then. Right now, after some listening tests, uh, I can already hear that they will benefit from such a compensation circuit. In the end, this was a fun build using materials and techniques, techniques that I've not used before, and that was my goal. Uh, sure, there's a lot of improvements that can be made, uh, but that is the nature of building your own speakers. You are never really finished with them. Uh, there are always ways to improve them and experiment with different results. So thank you all for watching. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so to make sure that you don't miss out of any of the future builds. And please give this video a thumbs up if you, if you liked it. So without further delay, let's go over to the sound test and remember that this is best listened to through headphones.